Hello, Hands of Dull Bedsit Blogger here. And um, a little while back, um, I was looking at small cameras for uh, a project that I'm work uh, that w I've had an idea for. And you know, I have a GoPro, which is a fairly small camera. So I looked on Amazon for even smaller cameras and found this, the SQ8, which is an exceptionally small camera. In the package, you got the instructions, a clip, a mount, USB and a uh, video out lead for charging and viewing. And this is the camera. That. It's, it fits in one of these squares there on my cutting board. Uh, and each square is, I think, Um, I can't work out how big each square is. Uh, five centimeters. So, and it, it, it weirdly, uh, this cost ten pounds, and is supposedly ten eighty p HD camera for ten pounds. Now they did range from between ten pounds and sixty pounds, so I don't know why this one cost ten pounds. Um, and I think it's going to be about the right size for the secret project I want to do. Um, put SD card in there, and but first of all, I've got to charge this up. So uh, before I can show you what the footage looks like. If it looks like ten pounds worth of camera or slightly more, um, who knows? Let's charge. So, wind burn's probably going to be quite bad, but this is just to see what the picture looks like. I have noticed there is a slight, what looks like a circuit board kind of pattern on the side. weird but you know this is a £10 thing so let's uh, have a look at what colours and stuff like that are like Sound check without the um, wind burn issue of being down on the beach. Oh, can you hear the general chatter of people busying themselves in the name of capitalism in a modern temple of consumerism? rising up in the escalator towards the nirvana that is Debenhams. So, let's sum up about the SQ8, the £10 1080p uh, spy camera. The sound was better than I was expecting. The picture quality is not too bad. You know, you wouldn't want to film a, an epic film with it but uh, not too bad a little frustrating using it because you have to do all the uh, working out if it's on or see I'm lost or what mode it is in by this little red uh, light on the back which can be either blue flashing blue red or flashing red 
or a mixture of the both, as that one is there. Um, and it's kind of difficult to work out where you're pointing it when you're filming. So, but you could get used to that. It does have, it does come with instructions, but let's get it. As you can see here, look, the instructions are very small and difficult to read. So, um, yeah, I don't know. And they're, they're not very well translated from what I guess would be Chinese. But then, you know, my Chinese is non-existent. So, for £10, could be interesting. Um, for anyone who wants to get into Chuck Berry kind of videography, these could work. Um, it records little three-minute chunks, so you'd have to edit longer stuff together. But that's no hassle, really. Yeah. Have fun with a very small camera. Bye-bye.